Hey y'all, Bug here, and as many of you know, we bought a 40-foot motorhome, but it is still unprotected from the elements. So we need to make preparations for an RV shelter to be delivered and installed. But first things first, we gotta build a rock driveway. This is what we've been driving through, and it's just ridiculous. So, excavator time and rock time. And we're going, just like Joe is doing right now, scrape off the top muddy stuff, give us a driveway that goes all the way up, and then a big uh, rock pad for the motorhome. And we will use that rock right there. It's an inch and a quarter. Boo working hard. It is the day before Christmas Eve. We unveiled the first piece of road fabric, a.k.a landscape fabric. <laughs> no, this is actual road fabric. Road fabric. It was like, this is the spindy stuff we use on big boy construction sites. So, day two, road fabric, rock, and we just finished piecemealing <laughs> the fabric to go for here, so at least we can be out of the mud. And then, have a rock driveway for us to drive the motorhome forward, and then we will lay more fabric and lay more rock and then back her back up right into her final resting place. And then later in January, we are having a cover, a 41 foot cover by 18 built right here. Looking forward to that tired of the Washington wet winters. So we are fortunate enough that not only does Joe know how to operate an excavator, but he has access to them on the weekends. So he loaded one up on a trailer and we have it here for the weekend for free. Now we did pay for the rock to be delivered here, but we are saving thousands by not having to hire a civil contractor to come out here to build this for us. We also have access to lasers to make sure that this rock driveway and the rock pad will be level in time for the RV shelter to be delivered. We finally got rock all the way up to the door of the motorhome. No more mud. Because with the puppy dog, there's always mud. Not tonight. Here comes Santa! So here's end of day two. We now can officially drive the little lamb out. We can avoid those trees there and drive her right on out. All the progress came to a halt after Christmas because of the snow. We cannot dig through the snow to get to the rock and our motorhome was so frozen we couldn't have closed the slides if we wanted to. And then we got COVID. Yeah, that's a negative test, but we got COVID. And then we had to wait before we could have access to another excavator. So it wasn't until mid-January that we could get back started on our rock driveway. So we even had to reschedule the delivery of our RV shelter. A, because of the snow and the interstates were closed. And B, because we weren't ready. They wanted to deliver it while there was still snow on the ground. And we couldn't have that. We weren't ready. Got it. Just stand there. You want me to tilt the buck up so you'll feel a little safer? Oh my God. You can do it. What you're watching here is me suddenly having a sense of vertigo when we need to cut some branches. You really don't think you can? What about a ladder? See, ladders I can hold. When I had to let go of the excavator, I went to shit. Yeah, you did, didn't you? I went to I shit. I saw your, your little face got red. So plan B was to have me operate the sticks, put Joe in the bucket, and lift him up with the chainsaw to cut the branches. So that's what we did. Originally, we didn't think that we needed to trim these branches, but as we were moving the motorhome back and forth, we realized that we did. 
And this was much better for my fear of heights just because I was, I felt more secure on the ladder. And then our good friend Carrie is down at the bottom hiding from the, all the falling sawdust and branches underneath a jacket. But we got all the branches down with the use of my new electric chainsaw. That came out of there easy. It did. No problem. So we have the laser out here. And the laser is telling us that this spot is one foot higher than that corner over there. The opposing corner. That's a lot of rock, people. It's a lot of rock. She looks good. Yeah. So that one roll, boom, to the letter, to the letter. And it begins. All right, we got a lot done. We think we laid enough rock that we can put the motor home back in its spot so we can hook up. So Joe's doing a little back blading, then we're gonna call it. It's been a long day, and we uh, got more to do tomorrow. But we are seriously working by spotlight. I'll have to show you more tomorrow. We're gonna go watch some Netflix. All right, it is Sunday morning. And this is our last and final day to get this done. We are out of time. We are almost out of rock. And we got to take the excavator back. So it is today. So Joe's going to pull the motor home forward. One last time. We're going to finish up the rock in the back. Stay tuned. I can't believe this is our home with the steering Isn't wheel. Isn't amazing? <laughs> this is I crazy. I love it. I just drove our house. Come you just drove our house. Yard. Yes, you did. That's close enough. You sure? Yeah, I got this set really tight. Okay. All right, All right. so we're, you're laying hubs? We're placing hubs. So we got our elevation oh, set with the laser. We're... So what we're doing now is we're gonna set hubs around the perimeter so I see how much rock we gotta put in here so you don't have to shoot great all the time. Correct. So that I can just lay rock to the hubs. So we'll just take the paint, spray that hub so I see it, and then we'll just do hubs around the perimeter. Um, and that's what we'll do. Sounds like a day, babe. That, that's, that's a lot of rock right there. That is a lot that's of rock. a lot of rock. Well, we're just gonna do the edge because we don't we don't have enough to do the whole thing, I guarantee you. Yep. We do not. And it, we it, slo it slopes a lot. And we've recruited our good friend Mumlix. Okay. So <laughs> I get to hit things with a hammer. So a few hours have passed. We're out of rock. So we know that this shelter has two sides, two long sides that need to be level with each other. So rock on this side, this 41 foot long stretch of rock right there is level with this 41 stretch of rock right here. So we got Mumlix compacting it, and then when Joe finishes his side, then we'll compact that. And then we'll have like a swimming pool underneath, but at least we can get the shelter up by Tuesday. I mean, so says the leveler. We are pretty, we're in the bubble, we're in the line. But I'm telling you, when you look at this thing, y'all can't tell it in the camera, but there's no way that that is as level as that. There's no way, but the phone says otherwise. Damn it. Yep. That's a lot of rock. Yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> deceiving, isn't it? It is so... Look at that. No rock. So I just shot this. A bunch of rock. You know. Freaking nuts. Because we're stepping down and not knowing it. That is it. It is Sunday night. You can see where they can, got a level line right there for one wall of the shelter. And then, uh, so at least the shelter will be level and we'll figure out the rock in the middle.
another day because we're tired. So here's the day it finally arrived through COVID Christmas and snow and shut down interstates. It finally arrived. We went with JM Builders. They showed up here about nine o'clock in the morning and they had it together by noon. We went with 41 feet long, 18 feet wide and 12 feet high. And this is it. The little lamb finally has its permanent home. Thanks for watching.